Okay, folks, uh, today I'm going to do something completely different um, because I've just put the House of the Rising Sun album uh, up on Spotify. I decided that what I would do is, as I had found the original multi track, I would have a look at it and break it down so that for those of you who like the track, you can get to see what makes it up. And it's surprisingly little. There's not very much in it at all. There's a couple of guitars, bass, vocal, piano, and organ. That's it. Kind of basic band kind of setup. So anyway, um, let's start off. The piano sound was actually mid MIDI live. There was no audio. Uh, but I do have the original piano sound. It was a Yamaha SY85 keyboard on the basic piano sound, which isn't the best, but it's the sound that I used. So I've called it up again on the SY85. Um, strangely, this was archived to a CD, which I thought would have failed. And it was an old version of Cubase that I had used to record it. I think it was uh, Cubase 3 or something. Um, and it took several transfers from different Cubases, one to another, because the old versions of Cubase and the recording software don't work with the new ones. So we'll just start off with the piano, um, uh, which is the SY85. Here we go. So here, he, so here it is. Here's the piano. I'll actually solo it so you don't get any of the drums and things coming in. Um, and then the vocal comes in. There is a house in New Orleans. It's quite weird listening to this again because it, it was... 15, 20 years ago that I sang this. It's weird. Put the piano back in. And then the guitar comes in. Now the guitar... It was a Yamaha... It uh, was, was an Ibanez RG4. 550, a black one with a rosewood neck, which I sadly sold to somebody in, in, in Falkirk. And here it is, doing this little bit. There's only two electric guitar tracks. And then we have the acoustic guitar that comes in, which is here. Now you don't really hear the acoustic guitar very clearly on the original, but it is there. So we'll pop, the, we'll pop everything back in with the drums. In fact, here are the drums. No, that's not the drums. It's Mustn't be on a subgroup. Here we go. So that's the overheads. That's the kick and snare. And the solo. Which is a huge sound for a guitar. I don't know what I used to play the guitar through. It's very clean. And the key change, let's get everything back in. Okay, so what's coming up now is we've got the organ, which is over here. And I think, I think the organ was a MIDI, a general MIDI sound. Uh, but I've just assigned it to an organ sound. It's a better organ sound than on the record, but it sounds great. Here we go. Apart from the bass, which 
which is my 70s P bass, which I've used on everything practically until, un, until recently. <laughs> the solo comes in and the guitar as I said is huge I think I may have played it through a pod but it might have been a Marshall here we go Drums was a great bit of drumming by Ash McMillan, but this is actually an edit because he continued playing this. I've still got the original take, but it would take a while to find it. But um, this bit was an overdub, and then the overdub is out now because he kept doing this thing with the cymbals. Although it was Rising Sun and that was recorded about 20 years ago in my bedroom. Well, not a bedroom, more of a kind of room. <laughs> 